Don't sell hair because your friend off the block sell hair. You see her with that new 2021 Benz or whatever. Sell hair because you actually like hair. Hey, I'm the boss. I'm the boss. Trey Trey, I think you got one. I'm a boss bitch, not your average bitch. <laughs> trap season, I can't bro. be stressing about no niggas. It's so easy to replace them. I'm a real What's up, guys? It's your girl, Namalani, and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button because you're going to love it here. And if you're a returning subscriber, then you already know what's so, up, for real, for real. If you're a returning subscriber, then yeah, you know. But as I can see from the time today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make money because, period. We're in a pandemic, not a pandemic. This is a pandemic, and we're gonna call it that for a reason. Now, but for, for I'm gonna really be teaching you how to make bread today. I'm gonna be showing you how I made over three thousand dollars from my phone. No cap, no scam, no forex, no none of that. It's just straight hard work and dedication because that's what real bosses put in, and that's what we do. None of that cap and stuff. I have my receipts to back it up, so ain't no cap in my rap. I ain't rapping, but y'all know what I mean. But yeah, I'm gonna be showing you how I made my money. So first, you need a phone and Wi-Fi. That's it. Just the phone and Wi-Fi. It don't matter your age as long as you have um, access to either a PayPal account or a bank account. But now let's get into it. And top one is Macari. It's an app. I'm going to put a picture of it right here on the screen. But basically, it's this app where you sell stuff. So when I was like 15, I started on Poshmark. Just like Jada. But when I first started, I started off on Poshmark. And Poshmark was like very similar to Macari. So it's like I took what I knew from Poshmark to Macari. But I'm not going to talk too much about Poshmark because, yeah. Macari is my top one because that's where I made the most of my money at. And I don't think about it, including like the money from Poshmark too, I probably made like over $4,000, but basically on Macari, you do exactly what it says. You sell your old stuff. It could be your old phone, your old freaking prom dress, your old football uniform, track uniform, whatever. But basically how I made my money was I sold all my old wigs because me, I like to switch my hairstyle every two, three weeks. So every two to three weeks, I was on Macari, posting my wig up, fixing whatever, you know, washing it, styling it up for the picture, whatever, making it all nice and glamorous. And I would go home, fix my wig up, make it look cute, take my little pics, put it on Macari, and then boom, next one I'm waking up to um, a sale. It'll be like, cha-ching, your item has sold. And I'd be like, period, on my way to school, having a great, fantastic day. Like, your girl's gonna let her sick, and nobody tell me nothing, period. So, my tips for Macari to make bank on Macari would be, one, take good pictures. Make sure you have your post notifications on because people will message you at all times of the day asking you questions about the stuff you're selling, offering prices and stuff. Some of the prices be reasonable, but like most of the time it'd be like foolishness, like straight foolishness. Like I had a wig on my on my account the other day for like $150. Somebody in the comment, she texted me was like 50. Don't play me like that. Like why would you do that? And I just left it there because I know if I would have responded to her, it would not have been like nothing positive or you know like business likes. Like sometimes you really just gotta you really just gotta ignore it because you, you wouldn't do that to you nice and them here company, so why would you do that to me? I don't care if the wig is used or not. So, yeah, be mindful when you respond to people. Be mindful of the time when you respond. If somebody texts you, don't wait till two days later to respond to them. If you can, text them back immediately because at the end of the day, that's your money that you're playing with. And also your time. You're wasting time. You could be making that bag from that one response, that one text message. That one yes to that question could be your bank account. Getting more money or that notification saying, cha-ching, you made a sale. So, yes, take good pictures. Be as descriptive as possible in your descriptions. If you sell in clothes and the clothes have a hole in it, mention that it has a hole because people can send whatever you sent or it's shipped out to them back to you and get their money back. And Macari do not play about their refunds. If a customer asks for a refund, they're going to get their refund. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. They do not play about their refunds. So, yes, make sure you're descriptive as possible. Take good pictures. I'm not saying you got to go hire a photographer. I use my iPhone. I've been using my iPhone ever since I first started using the app, which is when I was like 16. Just turn your little flash on if you got a ring light, get that ring light. If you got natural sunlight, go outside and, I don't know, put the shirt on the car or something. But just make sure that the picture is well taken and nicely lit. So, yes, take good pictures. Be descriptive. Um, don't be afraid to use the promote button. Kind of like promoting your post on Instagram, like, you know, like the little paid after Instagram offers. The promote button on my car is kind of like that. It, like, it gains more attraction to your page and like whatever you're selling so don't be afraid to use that button that also bought me a lot of money and um what's another one ladies girls if you're selling your wigs on macari please 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 wash the wig before setting it i know it's common sense but common sense is not so common for everybody before you sit before you even post the wig like it's okay to post it or it's dirty just make it look nice but before you ship that wig off or put it inside any type of shipping form any bubble mail or any box any whatever to ship it make sure that wig is washed it doesn't matter if you ship it off like wise like 
in the frizzy blow drying state. Just mention that the wig will come in its natural state. That's what I always do. But make sure that it's washed. Don't have no freaking glue up on the lace and your old scalp sweat and stuff. Don't do that. Because you want nobody doing that to you. Like, don't do that. That's your coin that you're playing with. So, yeah, don't do that. Get your money on Macari. You need access to a bank account. It can be a cash up account because this is my third Macari account. They keep deleting my accounts because I be trying to promote my Instagram on there and they don't play that. So, yeah, it could be a cash up card. It could be a bank card. Um, I don't know what else, but if you're under age, like under 18 or whatever, and you got a cash up card or your parents do, have them set a direct deposit with that. So, yeah. Next from Macari is um, start a business. That's like my second new income. I don't be as consistent as I should with it, but I'm getting there. Like, my business has really been booming. I already rented my business in December, and ever since I've been, like, I've been surprising myself. I ain't gonna cap. I've been surprising the freak out of myself. But I would say start a business. If you don't know what to sell, don't just start a business just to say, oh, I have a business, so I'm an entrepreneur. Like, actually have a passion for whatever it is that you do. Like, don't sell hair because your friend off the block sell hair. You see her with that new 2021 Benz or whatever. Sell hair because you actually like hair. If you want to do lashes, do lash because you actually like lashes. Don't do it just because you see Jenny over there with the new lash studio or whatever. She got her own crib now. She's on the year for me. She younger doing it. Do it because you actually like it. Feel me? So if you don't know what to sell, find something to sell. If y'all need vendors, I gotcha. Click the link in my bio and go shop with me. Nice boutique, period. But for real, for real. Find out what you want to sell. Find a vendor. Do your research. A lot of people be like against buying vendors because it's not hard to find a vendor. People really just be lazy. Like they don't like doing research. If y'all like doing research, once again, link in bio, nice boots tea, go get it, period. But, yes, do y'all research, find a vendor, figure out what you want to sell, get you a website started. I'm going to do, like, more in-depth videos on how to start a business, but, yeah. I would say DM if you have a question about that, but, no. Because I'm not even where I want to be yet to, like, be giving nobody, like, advice yet. Not yet, but I'm getting there. Trust me, I'm getting there. When I do, I gotcha, but not yet. Third, I would say... Forex. Forex is not a scam. It looks like a scam because like the most high level market company I know, I'm not gonna lie, I was a part of that company and my experience was terrible. Terrible. Horrible. I might do a story time about my experience with that whole situation, but I would not recommend nobody start trading Forex to IML. That's just a waste of your money. I just put so much money into that company, it's ridiculous. Like I could have I could have had my own house by now. The house that they be renting and capping people for, I could have had a real one by now. Literally, but learn how to do Forex. Forex is literally free. All you need is the money to put in your trading account and knowledge about trading and then boom. You can really flip $50 to 100 and 100 to this and that. It's actually true. The only thing you need is knowledge and skills about what you're doing. Literally. And it's actually on YouTube. Do your research. Literally. And anybody can get rich if they just read and do the research. Anybody. Literally. Just go to YouTube, type in Forex this, Forex that, or Forex strategy, uh uh if you really put like all your time, like hard work, time, and effort into doing one week of research about Forex, by the end of that week, you're gonna be trading Forex and seeing results. So don't say I ain't tell you when you go sign up for IML and you done wasted three thousand dollars. Feel me? I told y'all. I told y'all Forex is free. Next, I would say try other selling apps. So Macari was my first and top one selling app, but it's it's a lot. Of, I'm about to say it's mad. It's a lot of other selling apps that you can sell stuff on, like Poshmark. You have Poshmark. Depop, Macari, those are like my top main three, well, my top three, that are like the only ones that I use. But Macari is my top one. That's where I made most of my money at because like they have a larger audience. I don't recommend Poshmark first because it's like they have like more older people, like the vintage, like vintage old people that like coach, freaking coach hills and stuff and the ugly stuff. I don't like the cute Y2K vintage theme, like like the old dusty freaking um coach hills. I don't, I'm not, I'm not into that. But I have made some money on Poshmark, don't get me wrong. Then it's Depop. Depop is cool on, but that's like more for like the Y2K girls, like the girls who like the little Insta boutiques. Like it's kind of like a little Etsy store, but like more for like clothes, like that. But I have made someone in there too, my wigs, but ain't, ain't nobody talking Macari. That's why I'm so tired of you deleting my freaking accounts. But those are my top three sources of how to make money online. And yeah, I might do a part two of this video because like right now, everything is like slipping past me and I cannot really like think of it. But if y'all decide to use my car, use the link in my bio to get money off your first purchase and to get money when y'all make money. So if you go to something right now and you make money, use that my link, you're gonna get money. I think it's like $40, maybe $40 if you sell something. I don't know, but money is money and it's gonna add up, whatever it is. So 
yeah, make sure you link in my bio and go make that account and make that coin. Don't let me sell people if I help y'all make some money or give y'all some tips, tricks, or advice. Any of that, if I have any questions about what I just said, not not about the business thing. But if you have any questions about what I just said or like recommend it to y'all, comment down below because I'm not at Hollywood. I respond. And yeah, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and, and share. I can't be stressing about no niggas, it's so easy to replace them I'm a real boss, bitch, so hell nah, I can't save him Off the Henny with no chaser, best believe he wanna taste it But he ain't a real nigga, so I gotta keep it playing